Hello, hello, this is Bale with Just One More Project and back again today with another Halloween theme tutorial. I'm gonna teach you how you can make a spider web on Illustrator um, and it's not that hard. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to make it kind of look a little bit funky and kind of odd shape too so it's not just a symmetrical spider web because that's not really how they all look. Um, so um, we're, this is what it's gonna look like um, before we play with it and make it look wonky. So let me show you how we do this first. Um, okay, so you're gonna start with the line segment tool. Um, you can find it right here. I'm going to select it and I'm just going to draw kind of like a V shape. Um, actually, we probably could even use the pen tool. Um, okay, so we are doing that. And uh, you can't see the line segment tool because, or you can't see the lines that I drew because they are um, white. So I'm gonna turn them black. Um, and I don't really like, well this V doesn't really look like a V. So let's fix it. I haven't had much coffee this morning so I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now. So we could do this, we could wing it. Okay, so I've got a V. Um, all right, now let's get this a little thicker because then I can see it. Um, and as I do that, you can see that these um, corners are not very pretty. So I, they're kind of a uh, straight line, but I'm gonna round them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my stroke options. Um, if you can't find your stroke options, they're gonna be under window and stroke, and then it'll open up this options box right here. Uh, I'm gonna round my corners, but I'll select them first, round them and make sure the cap is rounded also. So now I've got rounded uh, corners and that looks up. Um, okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw these, um, the, the lines in between the spider web and I'm gonna do that with the line segment tool also. So you could just kind of wing it, do whatever you want. I'm gonna do one here, I'm gonna do one here, and I'm gonna do one here. Okay, um, now we've got these pieces that are sticking out. So now I'm gonna select all of it with my selection tool um, and I'm going to find my shape builder tool and select shape builder. And right when you select the tool, you can see that your cursor has this little plus sign on it. Um, but we want to have the cursor have a minus sign on it. So what we're gonna do is hit option. And as soon as I do that, the plus sign changed to a minus sign and you can see it right there. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna keep holding it down and I'm just gonna draw over the pieces that I want removed and it's gonna remove them. Look at that, what? So awesome. So now I've got this piece right here and that is um, ready to go. But now um, spider webs don't have these flat, these straight lines, so I kinda wanna curve them in. So you're going to select um, where your pen tool is. There's a drop down menu and I want you to select anchor point tool. When you do that, you're gonna select, you're gonna get this little like V shape. Um, and as soon as you hover over a path, it's going to turn into a kind of curved line. Um, and that's gonna tell you that it's ready to curve this line. So um, select it and just curve the lines how you want. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do that. And look at how cool. Okay, now once you've created this, um, shape right here, there's a couple of different ways that you can duplicate it to kind of go around in a circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group this first um, and then I'm going to, you can either copy and paste and you can just maneuver it around however you want um, to fill in that entire uh, circle all the way around or you can, let's just undo this. You can go ahead and go to object, repeat, radial and then what's going to happen is it's going to repeat it around in a circular fashion but we want to um, get them so they're all connected so I'm going to double click on one of them I'm just going to bring it lower and now you can see that they're not actually connected so let's click out and I'm going to increase the instances okay so if I keep going it's got one two three four five six um, and it looks like eight. It gives you a really pretty spider web. So that's probably the easiest way to repeat it. Um, okay, now you can look over here that these, these um, path lines are not actually connecting. Now that doesn't really matter too much if you're just gonna cut all of this out because you're going to go ahead and um, expand your path. And if you do that, then your path lines are gonna go all the way around that spider web. So the paths don't really matter. But if you wanna score the um, 
the spider web, then you want to make sure that you go into outline mode here. Go to view and then hit outline. And then you can adjust your paths this way um, to make sure that when you score it, it's not double lines, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's go over back to preview mode. But in this case, I wanna cut this out. So I'm going to object and I'm going to expand. Okay, now I've got path lines around all of it, but it looks super funky. So I'm going to unite everything. And now that is good to go. But you can leave it like this if you want to, um, but I wanna kind of make this spider web look a little bit wonky and kind of like over the side a little. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to do that. Um, make sure it's selected and go over to Object, Envelope, Distort, Make with Mesh, okay? Um, it's gonna give you uh, kind of, it's gonna ask you how many rows do you want, which are uh, how many rows in this grid and how many columns. So I'm actually just gonna lower it and do two and two um, because I feel like, well, maybe, let's do three and three. Um, no, let's do two and two, I know why. Okay, so now it's gonna give me a grid with two columns and two rows. And then when I hit okay, um, I can hit my direct selection tool. Then I can essentially click on the anchor points on this grid and I can adjust it and I can pull it and you can see what happens here. So if I wanna do that, it's gonna make this look kind of funny. Um, and you can play, the, play with this however you want. So I'm pulling this, I'm just gonna pick these anchor points and just kind of warp this out however I want. So maybe I want the center of my spider web here. Um, and fair warning, the more you warp this, uh, the less it looks like a spider web. <laughs> but uh, play with it. I would think just a little bit would look kind of fun. Um, let's get this on the inside. But yeah, you get the gist. So you can really play with this and uh, make it look how you want it. Oops. And then you can play with these handles over here and kind of tweak this a little bit more. So you get it. There you go. So it looks a little bit more funky that way, but um, you can play with it as much as you want. I didn't really have a plan of how it was gonna look <laughs> at the end, but hopefully that uh, gives you a couple of tools to play with. Um, as you are making your spider webs. Uh, if you have any questions, please shoot them down below. If you like these tutorials, feel free to subscribe. I try to get them out every week so that you have a fun new project to work on. Um, if you are interested in learning more about laser cut files, feel free to um, click the link to learn more about Project Academy where I teach you all the things you need to know about um, creating laser cut files for your Glowforge. Um, all right, hopefully that helps. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.